Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my hair is a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can tell. It is actually a little bit lighter now. And I am really obsessed with it. But let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime and apply my foundation. I'm going to use Benefits Professional and L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm going to put my hair up like so and then apply my primer and foundation. I do always apply this foundation with a damp beauty blender. I feel like this foundation is a bit of a thick consistency. So my beauty blender gives me like an air finish, which I love. So I'm going to apply Vaseline to my lips while I do my makeup just to moisturize them and prep them for my lipstick. I am going to apply my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger underneath my eyes. I'm going to use this triangle shape. And I'm also going to apply this between my eyebrows and my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, uh, above my lip, and on my chin like so. This is just going to highlight my face. I'm going to use this flat concealer brush by Sigma. I think it's an F80. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to blend, making sure I'm pressing the product into my skin and not spreading it so I don't lose any coverage. And then I'm going to blend the edges with my damp beauty blender. And then I'm going to set all of that with my NYX loose powder this is a translucent powder i'm gonna pop some on the lid like so and then i'm gonna use this tulip shaped brush to set that so first i'm gonna blend make sure there's no creases on my concealer and then i'm gonna set all of that concealer with that brush and that powder making this really ugly face that i'm making right here so this is just gonna make sure that our concealer doesn't budge now i'm gonna use my maybelline fit me compact powder this is a matte and poreless powder and I love this because it really helps with my oily skin and my foundation lasts longer with this powder on top. So then I'm going to warm up my face a little more with this Studio Fix uh, powder as well. This is just a uh, darker color. I felt like I looked a little pale. So with this, I'm just warming up my skin. Then I'm going to use my Shade and Light palette by Camp Von D. I'm going to use that middle shade right there. I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. I'm going to use this Real Techniques blush brush. I'm going to apply this on the temples of my face, on my chin, and I'm, I also apply that underneath my cheekbones to kind of carve them out. I'm going to further carve out my cheekbones using this cooler toned color and that MAC contour brush just to really define my cheekbones right there. I'm going to make sure I really blend that though because that color can look a little blotchy if you don't. Then I'm going to use this smaller a pointier brush and I'm gonna apply that same cooler tone color on the on my nose just to kind of give it a little bit more definition and then using that peachy color from that Kat Von D palette I'm going to apply that with my finger down the bridge of my nose just to highlight and accentuate that contour I did using this highlighter brush I'm going to apply that same peachy color underneath my eyes just to highlight I'm basically applying this everywhere where I applied that concealer before this is just, you know, my highlight routine, sort of. Then I'm going to use this dual fiber brush to blend between my highlight and my contour, just so there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to mix these two colors together and apply them on my cheeks. On my cheeks. <laughs> and then I'm going to blend everything with the dual fiber brush again. After I do this, I'm going to kind of retouch underneath my contour with a little bit of highlight. This just makes it pop a little more and cleans up everything that I might have messed up on. And then I'm going to set everything with my NYX Matte Finish Spray. I love this thing. So then I'm going to do my eyebrows with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. I did leave that out because it's a long process. But I'm going to show you how I clean that up. I'm going to apply this concealer by L'Oreal. And blend it out with this Real Techniques crease brush, I think. It's just a really dense brush, perfect to do this. I'm going to set that concealer with the Foxy color from my Naked Basics palette. Just gonna pat that shadow on top and drag it onto my eyelid to create a nice transition color for all of my shadows that I'm about to do right now. So this is the eye look that we're going for. I love purple, it's my favorite color. So the first thing we're gonna do is use Canyon, which is like a peachy color. And I'm going to apply that uh, using windshield wiper motions with my uh, Sigma E40. Then I'm going to do circular motions towards the center of my face like so. This just makes everything blend a lot better when you're blending like this. So I'm going to use the sunlit color right next to Canyon. It's a little bit darker. I'm going to concentrate that on the lower part of my crease. Just doing the same thing, windshield wiper motions and then circular motions. 
Then I'm going to apply this color tattoo uh, in the color Painted Purple. I used a synthetic uh, brush first, but then I realized my finger uh, was working a lot better. Uh, I'm going to set that shadow with this Morphe um, eyeshadow. This is a, has, has a sparkly kind of shade to it. I'm going to use my E55 from Sigma to set all of that color, making sure I'm patting to not get as much fallout. And then I'm going to use this Morphe shadow as well. I will have the number down below to apply that over top of that first purple color. I just like how these colors look layered. Personal preference, you can use just one purple if you'd like. Then I'm going to take the color Canyon and the color Sunlit and I'm going to mix them together with my E25 blending brush to blend out the edges of the purple. Make sure that it doesn't look bruisey and it looks like pretty colors on my eyelid. I'm just making sure I'm really, really blending and I'm making kind of like a V shape on the outside of my eye just to accentuate that. Then I'm going to use this deep purple and this e.l.f. crease brush and I'm going to concentrate that color into the crease of my eye and the outer uh, V of my eye. This color can look a little bruisey, so I have to be really careful when I use this color, but I love it. I am going to concentrate that right in my crease, making sure I'm not bringing that above and making that V shape on the outside of my eye. Then I'm going to use this uh, smaller blending brush. This is also by Sigma. I forgot the number. I'm sorry. This uh, brush has no color on it, no product on it. I'm just blending with the clean brush. When I felt I had enough uh, blending happen, I took a little bit of product and blended even more. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm going to use that orange color right there. And I'm going to blend in my crease. This color just made everything blend nicely, so I just added it onto my crease. Then I'm going to use that uh, sparkly light light purple color from that Jaclyn Hill palette too just to add a little bit of pop in the center of my eyelid and I did apply that with my finger then I'm gonna take my E35 from Sigma with no product on it just to blend my eyeshadow make sure there's no harsh lines and that all my eyeshadows look nice then I'm gonna retouch my eyebrow highlight with uh, Foxy just just make sure that we clean up any eyeshadow that we might have dragged too far off too far up and then I'm going to use Canyon in that E40 to blend between my highlight and my crease. Then I'm going to highlight using the Venus color on the inner corners of my eye and I'm blending again with my E35. Blend, blend, blend. Key to smoky eyes to blend. Then for my lower lash line, I'm doing the same thing using that sparkly color from that first Morphe palette. I believe it's a 35S. I will have that linked below for you guys. Then I'm going to use that Morphe color again, the darker one with a different uh, eyeshadow brush. You can use the same one, I just decided to change brushes. And for that deep purple, I'm going to concentrate that in the outer corners of my lower lash line just to keep my eye a little open in the inner corners. Here I'm just cleaning up with my highlighting brush. And then I'm going to take the color Canyon and my E25 brush to kind of warm up my lower lash line, make sure that my eyeshadow does not look brucey and that everything is nice and smoky and blended. Don't poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> then I'm going to apply Milk's jum uh, NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I did my cat eye and here I'm applying my false lashes. This is a long process and I tried to get it all on camera but it took way too long. So yeah. Now I'm applying my mascara. This is my favorite one, Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. I'm just blending my real lashes with the falsies and then I'm also going to apply this to my lower lash line making sure I'm careful to not spread it everywhere <laughs> and then I'm just going to retouch whatever I feel like needs retouching whenever I do apply falsies I feel like my eyeshadow changes a little bit loses a little bit of intensity so here I'm applying some of that deep purple and I'm just blending it with my E25 and a little bit of Canyon and then I'm going to take my E40 and a little bit of that orange color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and blending even more. This is just, you know, retouches and our eyes are done. I love purple. Then I'm moving on to my lips. I'm using Milani's lip liner in the color natural or the color four. My lower lip, I usually line uh, 
my natural shape but my top lip is a little bit smaller so I do overline my top lip a little bit just to make my cupid's bow a little bit more dramatic I'm going to apply wet n wilds lipstick in the color bare at all and this color is super pretty it's a dupe for max velvet teddy I'm going to apply that all over my lips and then I'm going to take the color Mochalicious by Wet n Wild as well and I'm just applying that over top just to give it a little bit more drama. Once I do apply that, I do go back in with my lip liner to kind of enhance my cupid's bow even more and I wanted a Kylie Jenner sort of look and our look is done. So now I'm just gonna set my face again with my NYX mattifying spray and we're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!